What's up guys, it's Mike with Half Reptile and today I have a short video for you guys but it's going to be awesome because we have some new baby dart frogs in the reptile room. I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see them. I know there's going to be quite a bit of glare in here right now because all the other lights are off. But we have some Ufaga Pumilio Elmerente froglets. One there, one there, and one there. So we got three of them right now. And then we actually also have one Dendrobates erratus, my first one. This one I can actually open because he's a little more settled in. There he is. Beautiful little froglet. But the main focus of this video is actually going to be setting up a tank for the froglets, not for the erratus because his uh, container is actually suitable for him. But for the Pumilio, uh, you might be able to see behind me, I have an Exoterra 8x8x12. So why don't we get into setting that up for them? Before we do that, I'm going to have to catch these guys out of here because I set this up this morning thinking this might be their more, I guess, permanent home. Uh, but I forgot that my buddy set aside one of those 8x8x12s. And uh, I inundated the soil with springtails as well as isopods in here. So... I don't want to waste that and I don't want to use another container of springtails for a whole separate tank. So what I'm going to do is catch the Pumilia out of here and then move them uh, into a little holding container while we uh, go about setting up their tank. Alright, so I'm going to try and keep these all from bouncing out all at once. Although I have a feeling that's exactly what's going to happen. There's one. I don't know how well you guys can see them. No. Last one. This is by far the smallest one. So now we've cleared this. There's nothing left in here. What I'm going to do, cut a piece of cork background for them so that that way they can have kind of vertical space that's not just glass. So why don't we move on to that? So what I've gone ahead and done is just taken a 12 by 12 cork zoom ed background and very loosely cut it to the size of the back of this tank. Um, I didn't get it very precisely, but I was also just using my hands and a knife, so uh, I knew it wasn't going to be incredibly precise either way. With that being said, we can uh, get going. So this is just a very basic setup for any grow up dart frogs that you might have, or uh, whatever you got going on. These will work for most tropical species. You can see I just harvested some leaf litter and a couple little plants. And what I'm going to do now is just add the soil that I've already mixed up. So this is a soil that is a mixture of Arcadia Earth Mix Arid, Zilla Jungle Mix, and a couple spoonful of charcoal that was uh, where I was breeding some springtails. Now with that done, now I can insert my background, just so that's a tight fit back there. And now, I already had from the other bin, I had a couple plants, which I will now plant in here. Really not too many, just a little, little tiny strawberry begonia, and uh, selaginella. So now that I have a little bit more vertical space, what I'm actually going to do is I have an old bromeliad that I had just lying around. And I don't know if it's actually going to live or not, but it's going to add some verticality to the tank. And uh, these frogs certainly like that. As for the rest of the plants, I'm going to be using a couple of just cuttings. And this is a little Monstera plant. I don't know exactly what kind, and of course some um, Ficus pumula because this stuff always tends to grow pretty much no matter how you put it, it'll grow. So that's the hope. I'm not going to put in any rare plants or anything in here just yet, but if this does become an established tank, then I might end up doing so. Putting in the leaf litter now. Something that's really crucial for dart frogs is leaf litter. Uh, even though the Pumilio are technically a uh, arboreal species, the leaf litter is always going to benefit them. So you can see just how much leaf litter I added. That's actually all I have right now 
so it's not an ideal amount I would actually recommend having a little bit more in there but it's certainly gonna get them by and if they seek refuge in the leaf litter then they'll have enough place to go eventually everything will kind of grow in and start to cover different spots in the tank and whatnot it will start to look a little bit more full in the future here but uh, for right now this is what we got now that we've got the tank set up why don't we get the frogs in here all right I'm just gonna set this in here and they'll crawl out at some point the first one made it out the other two still haven't figured it out yet so while these guys figure out which way they're going and how to get into their new cage I'm actually gonna wrap up the video there you'll see it in the reptile room tour coming up shortly their finished tank uh, this video is just a quick update letting you guys know that I finally have some baby Pumilios as well as a baby erratus I've had those erratus for several years now and I'm so happy that I was able to produce babies and offspring so fingers crossed that production will increase I hope you guys enjoyed this short video I know it was quite a short one but if you did leave a like down below if you have any questions comments concerns anything like that make sure you leave it in the comment section i always get back to you guys if you guys are ready for jam pack july make sure to click subscribe if you haven't already and click that post notification bell so then that way you get notified every time i post a video which in the month of july is going to be every single day with live streams on sundays so make sure you tune in we'll catch you in the next video later guys